Hi, in this video, I'm gonna share with you step-by-step -step how to sell digital products online using Gumroad. So if you've ever wanted to sell your own digital products, digital courses, or any other digital download material, then be sure to watch this video to the end as I'll show you exactly in this tutorial how to go about setting up Gumroad and how to create your first product on Gumroad. So keep on watching. Hi, my name is Aurelius and on this channel I'll make videos on how to start and grow a digital product business. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification just below this video and turn on notifications too so you don't miss out on any future training I post up here on my channel. With that said, I'm gonna head onto my screen so that I can show you how to start selling digital products online using Gumroad. All right, just very quickly, what is Gumroad? And in case you don't know what Gumroad is, Gumroad is simply a platform to start selling your digital products online, whether that's a course or whether you sell a bunch of presets for you know, Photoshop, Lightroom or Adobe Premiere, whatever it is, you can start selling your digital products online through Gumroad so that you can digitally deliver your products instantly, so immediately. You don't need to go and send your digital download manually to your customers if they purchase through PayPal and all that. So in terms of pricing, it is free. This platform is free. But if you look in here where it says getting started, there's a 5% plus charge fee. So there's also 3.5% plus 30 cent uh, fee for every transaction or every sale that you make. And if you do go on their $10 a month plan, which is their creator plan, this is for less than a thousand customers, which is, will take some time, if, especially if you're just starting out. You'll be able to do things like remove the Gumroad branding. You'll be able to add your own CSS or styling to the uh, page of yours, and which we'll go through in this video. You'll be able to use your own domain name and the fees the 5% fee is waived. So all you need to really pay is the 3.5% plus 30 cent per charge only. But if you're just getting started, this plan here will do. But for the long term, if you do wanna save, then look into the creator plan. Now, before I move on and start showing you how to create your products in Gumroad, I also wanna explain that Gumroad is a very simple platform for selling your digital products, meaning that you can't do advanced selling uh, features such as creating sales funnels. So if you do plan on uh, adding upsells and cross sales and down sales and things like that, then Gumroad isn't the platform for you. There are other uh, advanced uh, shopping carts and platforms out there such as uh, Thrivecart, Samcart, which will allow you to do like one click upsells and things like that. But with Gumroad at the time of this recording at least, and from what I've experienced so far that don't have that sales funnel feature. But on the plus side, if you do wanna get your digital products out there quickly and easily without any hassles or technical know-how, then Gumroad is great for that because you don't even need a website to start selling your digital products. Now here's a product I created in Gumroad in just a matter of minutes. It's called Email Marketing 101, how to start and grow an email list. This is just a hypothetical example, but I created this from scratch. And this is typically what a Gumroad sales page looks like. You'll see that you'll be able to create or add your own cover page here. And you can add your headline, some bulleted benefits or points or features. You can add images as well. So these images I had to create from scratch. Gumroad doesn't offer the ability to obviously design graphics in their platform. You're gonna to have to use Canva or something like that, but we'll also go through the setup process of creating a product in this tutorial. But I just wanted to show you what the layout looks like. You can also see the buy now button. This is where your customer can then enter their credit card details or pay by PayPal. Another feature I love about Gumroad is that they'll be able to promote or recommend your products to their community. And this is on their discover page. So if you go to gumroad.com forward slash discover, you'll land on the page that looks like this and you'll be able to find certain digital uh, products and courses based on categories here. So once you have your product out there, you can also enable the discover option so that your product will be featured in their marketplace. So according to Gumroad, their discover uh, feature will be uh, shown in customers' receipts on download pages and of course on the Discover homepage. So that's where they will recommend your product as long as it's something that's relevant. I'm not exactly sure what criteria needs to be met in order to have your product featured on these uh, sections, 
but that is what Gumroad uh, shows. Now, they do take 10% in additional fee on top of what they also charge. So that's something to note, but it is a great way to have your product promoted in their discover area or marketplace. So that's a nice little feature of Gumroad if you want your product promoted. All right, so to get started, be sure to sign up by clicking the start selling with Gumroad button. You can connect with your Facebook account or Twitter account, or simply use an email address with a password. Once you've done that, it's time to log in to the dashboard. Now let's get to the technical aspects of setting up your product in Gumroad and setting up your Gumroad account. I'm logged into my account here. I've already kind of set up my profile. After you've registered an account with Gumroad, you'll be able to create a product and that's the first step that they'll ask you to do. But what we're going to do is also create or set up our profile. So simply head to profile. This is where you can choose your style. You can choose a theme for your homepage. So this is what your followers or customers or subscribers will see. This is kind of like, think of it as your homepage and they can subscribe to follow posts by you and they can see all the courses that you've created. So this is the course that I created previously and your name, your basically a kind of like your slogan here. And you can change the style here by selecting a theme. I've got the Gumroad default. You can choose a dark theme, goblet of fire, and uh, letterhead, all these other ones, shiny. And then you can go as far as selecting uh, a different color for things like the accent buttons. You know, we've got black. So let's say I wanna choose black. So it depends on your brand colors. This is what you can customize. So that's the style feature. Once you've done that, Make sure you upload a profile picture. That's what we'll show here. I highly recommend you add a profile picture to build some trust connections. This is something you can do with, to integrate Facebook and Twitter. A follow form. So this is what they'll see uh, right here. This is the preview. You can customize it or embed it somewhere else on your website. In the product section, you can sort the products by newest, highest rated. So this is what they'll see here. And uh, since I only have one product, you know, that's all we can see right there. Now we can also display it in preview mode so that it will remove all the admin features or switch back. Now we can see the navigation for me as the creator. Uh, once you've set up your profile, click save changes. The next thing you wanna do is head on to settings. And from here, make sure you go down and select your currency in most cases, it'll be US dollars and that's what you should set right here. I'm from Australia, so by default, it actually set Australian dollars. So be sure to set this to whatever currency you wanna sell in. Now, if you do wanna add some taxes or for the purchases based on your region or your country, this is where you can add it. Now, do you wanna enable Gumroad Discover? This is something we went through previously. And do you wanna show your products in Discover? I highly recommend you enable this so that your products are promoted in those areas that I talked about. Next, you wanna choose a category based on what niche you're in. So I'm simply in the education niche since I can't really find anything around business or online marketing, things like that. Once you're done, hit the update account details and then it'll save everything. Next, we wanna to go to payout. Make sure we enter our details such as our personal info, our phone number and identity verification. So your date of birth here. Now payout bank account. This is where you enter your account details so that Gumroad will know where to send your payments. Just as a side note, Gumroad takes payments on your behalf. So they'll collect the credit card payments or the PayPal payments, and then they'll transfer it to your bank account based on whatever you enter here. So unlike typical shopping carts and other platforms where you actually need to integrate your PayPal account or Stripe account, Gumroad handles all that for you. So no integrations needed. All you need to do is just fill in whatever details that are required in your settings. Now, just very quickly under the advanced tab, you'll see custom domain. This may be something that you wanna add in the future for branding purposes. If you don't wanna use a domain name like gumroad.com forward slash whatever your product is or whatever they assign your product to. And also what you can do is add analytics using your Google Analytics account. Facebook Pixel, if you do wanna retarget any customers that have landed on your pages. And the rest of the stuff is quite advanced. You most likely won't need it in the future, like the application 
Now let's head on to the product section so that we can start creating a product in Gumroad. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on new product. From here, it's going to ask you, what are you creating? You can select classic, so start selling a product today. You can do a pre-order, so sell before a release date. You can do a membership where customers get charged on the monthly or whatever you set here, charge on a recurring basis. And what you want to do is then add a name for your product. So I'm going to click on classic so that I can start selling a product today. Let's call this email marketing 101, which is the product that I demonstrated before. This product contains one or more physical products. I haven't fully tested this yet, but if you do sell physical products, you, you're going to want to enable that. So then you get the right options in or on the next page. I'm going to disable it for now. Click on customize. And on this page, this is where we can actually add all the details about our product. So think of this section as your sales page. You're gonna wanna make this captivating so that customers can see what they're gonna get and what's in it for your customers. So it's not just about putting a picture of your product and say, buy now. You also wanna make sure you put some sales copy to your description and this page here. So first and foremost, this is the name of your product. You kind of just want to stick to what your product's called. So then when people search it on your site here, it'll show. So that's what it'll show at the top here. The next thing you can do is in the description, I when I first used this, I kind of got a bit confused. Do I put just a line of text? Do I put a paragraph? But in actual fact, you can add YouTube videos or a picture. So if you have a video that demonstrates your product, or shows some sort of preview of your product that you wanna show to your potential customers, then you can add a video there. It says paste a YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook or Instagram link and press enter. And that'll embed that video to the description. Now, if we go back to our page, this is where the description is, this whole section right here. So taking that into account, you're gonna to wanna to put the text and the elements based on whatever your product's about. So what I'm gonna do is add a headline, which is this right here. To save time, I'm just gonna copy and paste just so you get the idea. And in terms of formatting, all I need to do is just select this option where I can highlight. And then this little palette appears where I can choose a heading style. I can choose heading three or four. So heading three is a bit bigger. Heading four is a bit smaller. The next thing I wanna do is add an image of the product. So if you do have some sort of product image or mock-up, then this is a good place to put it as well. You'll see here, I've got an ebook cover. So what I'm gonna do is click on the plus icon, then to the photo option. And from here, I'm gonna browse for the image. I've got my ebook here and choose. And that's going to embed that image right there. So you can add multiple images here if you want to by just going back and you'll see another plus icon. So every line has this. Next up, I want to add some text. So bulleted benefits as an example, I'm gonna just copy what I have here. Copy, go back here and simply paste it in. From here, what you can do is select the text. You'll see this bullet icon and that'll convert it to bulleted points. If you do want to add more text, feel free to do that. There is an option to also add a link. So if I just type in link there or whatever text you want, we can just choose this link icon and then paste in a link. So that perhaps might go to your about page or some other page to further describe your product. I'll delete this for now. And I'm pretty much done with my description. Now, the next thing is you can add a cover. If we go back to our demo product, this is the cover. I'm not sure exactly what size this is or what size they take into account, but all you need to do is choose a file and I'm gonna choose my course image cover here. The size that I selected was a thousand pixels wide by 500 high. And you'll see how it looks you know, on my page here. Now, the next thing you can do is choose a call to action. Now, I'm not sure why they don't, offer an option to just uh, add your own call to action. That may be in the upgraded account, but you're only given three options. I want this, buy this, or pay. The call to action is the buy button that you see here. So pay or buy this. So I'm gonna select buy this. 
You can also add a summary. The summary is what you'll see on the right here. This will give your viewers an idea of what they're going to get, like the deliverables. So in the summary, you can say something like, you'll get instant access to, and then you can list down all the modules, components, or files that your customers will get. So let's say you'll get a video one, and this is where the value you can either put as in values at $97. You can either put that or you can put whatever other specifications of your product. So let's say video one is five minutes 23. So then that will give an idea of what they're getting. And we can then repeat the same steps for video two. This one's three minutes 21. Now, if you are selling something like a video template, let's say it is a video template, and this is in 1920 by 1080 pixels. So that's another thing you could add as one of the features here. What you can also do is share the file size. So let's say it's 100 megabytes and it'll show right there. So that's what this feature is where it says additional details. All right, next up on the content, this is perhaps the most important where you add or upload the file that your customers will get after they purchase. So if you have your file ready, go and upload your files, either from a computer, from an existing download, which I've already uploaded it previously, or you can upload from Dropbox. In most cases, you're probably gonna upload from your computer, and for that, it's gonna pop up, and what you're gonna do is just select whatever file you wanna uh, have as a downloadable. If you do have multiple files, this is where you go and repeat the same steps. So from computer, I'm gonna now select the same file, but let's say that's file number two. And that's all you need to do, just keep repeating until all the files are uploaded right there. The next option below under settings, it says generate a unique license key per sale. So if you sell something like a software that requires a unique key to activate that particular software, then this is where you can go and enable it and it will generate a unique license key for that. But if it's just a PDF document or anything else, you most likely won't need it. Down below, add your price. This is quite self-explanatory, so I'm gonna put 995. The next option is allow customers to pay what they want. So if you wanna add the option for customers to actually put in what they can afford, for instance, then you can just enable that. So add a minimum or suggested amount. The next setting is versions. What versions is essentially if you have, let's say a standard and a pro version of your product, then you can add it right here. Or if you have additional bonuses that you wanna add, use versions. In terms of, let's say software, you can also do things like offer a, a basic version or a pro version. This is what you wanna do. You wanna click on add versions, call this, let's say, selling this email marketing 101 course. This is a version for templates for email marketing and choose the option name. I'm just gonna call it the same. The additional amount they pay is $10. And then we can associate those specific files for that version after they make their purchase. Now you can see the total now is $19.95. That's because the amount plus the additional amount is added. Let's say you have another option for the uh, pro version. I'm just gonna call it the pro version. Additional amount is $30, and then you can add whatever files it is as well. So I'm just gonna choose whatever files I have uploaded right here. Choose another file right here. That's done. So I've got two versions. I've got one with the templates for email marketing and the pro version. This, in my opinion, is kind of a way that you can kind of hack your way to adding an upsell for your product, okay? Even though I didn't, I said that there's no way to create a sales funnel in Gumroad. This is kind of a way to add in those upsells uh, through their system. So once that's done, under settings, we can go limit product sales. So if you do have, let's say 50 copies of your product, you can limit it in that way and then it'll close it off. If you wanna allow customers to choose a quantity for your product or if your product's quantity based, then select this option as well. Going back to the top, what we're gonna do is click on save changes. This page hasn't been published yet. So if we go to checkout now, this is the next tab you wanna go and fill in. We can add a discount code if you do wanna add that feature. 
or do some sort of special offer for your customers. So what you can do is uh, create your own discount code here. You can also use their auto-generated one. Uh, do you want it for all products or just this, this single product? And the amount that you want to offer off and the quantity, how many times you can use that discount code, let's say 10 times only. You can also add additional discount codes if you have particular uh, promoters and you want just you want to set set it just for John. So that's for him. And then he, John can then send this discount code for those or his subscribers. And you want to add the discount code to your purchase form and add a field to all your products as well if you want to do that too. Now in the payment form, we can select the card holder name and also require shipping information. If you do require uh, shipping information, something that needs to be shipped. If you need additional information on your form page, you can add it here. So let's say phone number, uh, this can be optional or required and then add as many custom fields as you want. Under the receipt, this is what will show. Once someone purchases, you can thank them or you can say, thanks for purchasing. Follow us uh, on Instagram and then put in your Instagram handle, whatever it is. Once that's done, we're gonna click on save changes, but it's showing that I've entered a non-zero discount amount. So we're just gonna disable all the uh, discount codes here since we don't need it. Click on save changes now. And now that's saved. Under the share tab, there are various ways on how you can share your product page, either through your social links or copy the URL directly, or you can embed it on your website using an overlay, customize a particular button, add this to your sidebar or underneath a blog post. Let's say you wanna go purchase my product or get my email marketing course, add it right there. You can auto trigger the payment form or allow single product purchases only. This is what it looks like. Copy and paste the code wherever you want and that'll show this button right here. Uh, you can also embed uh, products on your site. So this is what it will look like. To copy and paste that code, look down below. You'll see the code right there. And that's it. What you're gonna do is publish this product that you've already added. And once that's done, I'm gonna copy this URL or I'm just gonna hover over here, click on this little icon on the corner. That'll open up in the new tab. And then this will give you the page that your customers or potential customers will see. We can see that we have two options since we added the standard or the templates for email marketing and also the pro version. So customers will pay based on whatever they select here, which is why if you do want to add some sort of upsell or upgrade of your product, then use the versions field or section. If you want to do a test to see what the checkout looks like, if you're already logged in, if you click by this, this is just a demo since you're already logged in. So the best way to actually see what your checkout page looks like is to open up a new browser, a completely separate browser. So if you're currently using Safari, use Firefox. Or better yet, what you can do is open up a private uh, window or incognito. So let's say we're in Safari right now. I'm gonna open up a private window. So here's my private window and I've already entered the URL. This is what your customers will actually see. Let's go and click buy this. Now we can see the full checkout page. Gumroad takes credit cards, debit cards, or using PayPal and then you need to log in. So this is good news if you don't have a PayPal account and you want Gumroad to take payments on your behalf. If you ever want to edit your product, simply go to products and from there, select whatever product you want to edit and all those options will appear again. As a little side note, if you do want to learn how to create your own product covers and e-covers, be sure to watch a video that I'll link up right here right now on how to use smart mockups with Canva to create your own product covers. So there you have it. In just a matter of minutes, you're able to start selling your digital products online using Gumroad. As you saw, no website required, no coding required, not even PayPal or Stripe as Gumroad takes payments on your behalf and then pays out to your bank account. There are other options that I'd love Gumroad to have, as I mentioned before, the ability to add your own sales funnel so that you can maximize your profits from that same customer. But I guess with Gumroad, their belief, I guess, is to make it simple and intuitive to use for anyone 
to use no matter if you're just starting out or a beginner. Overall, I highly recommend you use Gumroad to start selling your digital products online without the fuss, without the mess, without any coding, and without all the expensive fees that you would find with a typical shopping cart system. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Turn on notifications too so that you won't miss out on any future videos like this that I post up on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the very end. I appreciate you. Do stick around to watch these next relevant videos that's gonna come up right now.